Hello everyone, in this tutorial video, I'd like to explain what absolute convergence is compared to the more generic type of convergence. A series is absolutely convergent if the absolute value of all of its terms is convergent. If the sum itself is convergent but the absolute value of all of its terms is not, then we call this conditionally convergent, which means convergent under specific conditions, i.e. it is not convergent for all types of series of the function. For example, if we are told to figure out if the limit of the sum of this function is absolutely convergent, we would do this by putting absolute value bars around the function, seeing that the absolute value of the numerator is simply 1, and the absolute value of n is simply n. So now we have this series, which we know is divergent. So we have seen it does not have absolute convergence, but it does have conditional convergence because of the fact we saw in a previous video that it converges by the tools at our disposal to test it. If we were given a more complex sum such as this, we would put absolute bars around it, seeing that because sine is normally between negative 1 and 1, absolute sine must be always less than 1, and the absolute of n cubed is simply n cubed. So we have derived a limit we can test this with, seeing that our test limit converges if we use the integral test on it. So in conclusion, because there's less than a convergent limit, it must also be convergent. And we know if a series is absolutely convergent, it must be convergent by definition. So we do not have to test again without the absolute bars. Now that we have figured out what absolute convergence refers to, we can use this fact and the ratio and root tests in the next two videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.